What's good ladies and gents, welcome to the MKL Pugilism Boxing Channel where we talk all things boxing. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, put it on all so you get notified as soon as any new content drops on the channel. Without further ado, let's get into this one. So um, there was a lot of boxing action over the weekend on uh, Saturday and uh, yeah, this one's just going to be a bit about uh, Ryan Garcia versus uh, Emmanuel to go. Ryan Garcia had been out of the ring for a while. He's uh, definitely a prospect with a lot of, um, yeah, he's got a lot of things going for him. Speedy, uh, you know, fast hands, fast feet. Um, got good uh, ring IQ, very good amateur boxer. And um, he, he's definitely one that was looked upon as, as really going places. Good standout win against uh, Luke Campbell, um, but yeah, he he weirded me out a bit. Did Garcia when um, after he beat Luke Campbell, declined the Devin Haney fight and stuff like that, and he had recently gone into uh, a bout of depression, and you know it seems like he's definitely uh, recovering from that and 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 coming back. So this was like his his sort of comeback to action, comeback to boxing. Um, and uh, he certainly put on a good performance, a uh, good sort of masterclass uh, type performance. Uh, he, from the word go, jumped on Emmanuel to go. Um, and it was interesting because looking at the, the, the stats of both boxes uh, beforehand, um, I would say that Emmanuel to go would be the one who would need to sort of jump on Luke, on um, sorry, Ryan Garcia, uh, being that Garcia is the bigger man, taller man. Um, and all that, so I would have thought that to go would would want to be sort of up close, personal with him. That's the way he's gonna. That's the only way he can really win a fight. But it, it went the opposite way with Ryan Garcia, um, not using his his reach and length to sort of stay away from to go. Just jumped on him from the word go. Fast combinations, and to go literally looked like he came to go running because pretty much the the pattern of this fight from the first to the last bell was just Ryan Garcia just running him around, chasing uh, to go around the ring, fast combinations, landing um, with with relative uh, ease. Uh, to go did uh, did a good job of sort of getting away and ducking away from shots, but Ryan Garcia did land some powerful ones, um, and it seemed like uh, pretty much in this fight. To go was was there to to really survive. Um, he didn't really show any ambition to win the fight. He was his tactic was just literally don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, and all he, he was just literally run sprinting around the ring. And I'm not really a person, a fan who uses this term, oh running, 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 you know, because a lot of the times people talk about that the fight they're talking about is using movement but he's also standing there he's landing shots you know pivoting away and stuff like that but to go was literally just trying to survive and just ducking 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 out of the way it was like it, it was just basically saying Ryan don't hit me don't hit me don't hit me and just sprinting all around the ring so he showed tremendous stamina but he showed no real ambition to um in terms of actually wanting uh, to win this fight. So he was never really, you, you watched this fight and there was only, from the word go, there was only gonna be one winner. And um, you can't, I suppose you can't fault Ryan Garcia for that. He can only beat um, what's in front of him. I wanna see him now step up there with, with the big boys. You know, one of these guys, I mean, obviously a lot of them are tied up. Cambosis, uh, Haney, um, I don't know about Tiafimo Lopez, but I, I, we've got to Davis is fighting soon. Tank is fighting soon as well. So, but nonetheless, I, I really, you know, congratulations to him. Great for coming back from his mental health and everything, and wish him all the best. Uh, but now I, I really want to see him in a in a step up fight versus one of these um, other sort of elite level lightweights, and I want to see how it gets on really because. These sort of guys, that that fight, it might have um, helped his confidence and that, and it's it's good that he's given, he's got the rounds in and everything. But I think really it was it was no real challenge. It was like just a, it was a moving target. But he was in there with a guy who had no ambition and who had no made no effort to win the fight. So that's just my view on it. Um, let me know what you thought about this. I thought. You could call it, in a way, a masterclass by Ryan Garcia, but he, he was in there against an unwilling guy who was just there to 
I don't know, maybe he's just there to pick up a paycheck and just uh, avoid getting hit. You know, he was just seemed terrified of 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 uh, taking any punishment, terrified to come forward. He was just on the run all night long. But anyway, congrats to Ryan Garcia. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section below. And until next time, it's MKO Pugilism. We over and out.